it's an important win. I think um, it's been well documented that our record isn't great here. Uh, by any stretch of the imagination. I can see why it is a, a tight ground. They're a good side, by the way. I can see why they are where, where they are in the league. That's not by chance. Um, but I think the players showed fantastic character today and I think we deserved it in the end. If we look at the second half, there's two de massive decisions that haven't gone our way. Um, it's been the story of the week. Obviously, we had one of our players playing international football two days ago, which wasn't ideal. Um, but, you know, he's shown, he's shown um, his commitment to the club as well. And, um, yeah, I'm just really pleased for the travelling supporters and, and for the players, really, because they've kept the momentum going. I'm really proud of Ed, first of all. I think he's had a good month. I think he's really stepped up to the plate. And also, um, Willow, that, that's been coming, that goal. If you look at the runs that Willow's been making, of, you know, in our time here, really, we've done a lot of work in the wide areas and he's been there or thereabouts a few times. So I'm really pleased that he's got his reward today because he's... Um, you know, he's, he's been excellent. I think he's the only player in my time here that's played every minute of every game and I, you see why tonight. You know, proud of the whole squad. Our feet are firmly on the ground. We've always said we've got a points target we're um, aiming for and this is just three more points on the way to that. We went with Eves and Wilkinson, so obviously there was more height there. So um, a bit like we did against Berry when <coughs> Housen started to pull on to um, Louis. And, you know, in any shape and in any team, you know, there's strengths and weaknesses. And it's my job as a, as a manager to be able to read and react to what's going on on the pitch. So as soon as they did that, you know, Ethan gave us a bit more height. Dino gave us a bit more solidity. You know, Robbie as well, you know, a bit of fatigue, obviously, with Scotland. And he came on the other day and he's not, you know, he's still getting his match sharpness back. He's not trained properly this week because we've still been sort of protecting him from the Scotland trip. So I always felt that Robbie probably had 70 in him. And um, yeah, it was just to make, make us a bit more solid because, um, you know, this is a tough place to come, but I always felt we'd get another chance in the game. And thankfully we did. The referee said to me at the end, he felt the player's touch was too far away from him. I said, it's Chuck Saniki. And he said, I don't know him. I said, well, you need to do your research before a game. Look him up on YouTube. It wasn't that bad a touch anyway. No, and, and, but know, know the players on the pitch because Chucks was always getting to that. So that was his explanation for that one. And, um, and obviously the penalty, you know, I've worked with Callum since eight years old. You know, he's many things, but he's not a diver. You know, I'm thankful that everybody's stuck with us and we've stuck together. But we've still got seven cup finals to go, so let, let's not get carried away. Um, you know, we've got an important game on Monday and that's all I'm focusing on now. We'll, we'll respect them, but we won't fear them. We're playing at home in front of our home supporters. I hope that they turn out on Monday once they, they've been bored at home for two days over Easter and enough chocolate. I hope they come out in force because we're going to need them on Monday.